the stairs and down the elevator. What's through this well? Probably death. Yeah, you think so, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably surrounded by an invisible wall. That's like the uh, stockades here. That's why there's a naked man leaning over it. Hmm. You don't think he just vomited and died? <laughs> Reaching into that well for his last drink of water? No, I don't think so. Going down? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> One thing I've never tried in, in any of my builds is a purely shield build. Because mm -hmm. if you hold your shield in the right hand, you can use it to attack. Interesting. And, uh, all the shields have have like a damage stat, just like weapons do. So I mean, they're obviously all weaker than your standard weapons, but there are some shields that that are sort of uh, made specifically for attacking. Ones with spike in the middle. Yeah. I mean, it's still a shield, but it does a little more damage than regular shields. There's also some like skeleton wheels. And uh, they'll occasionally drop a shield that's just a big spiked wheel. And you can use that for attacking. Okay, where am I headed? Um, down to where the ghosties are. Okay. Do I need to do a thing? Yeah, do you have your, uh, your curse hand thing? Curse and... Transient curse? Yep. Wow, that's, I do not have many of those. Well, if you want, you could put on the uh, the gold covenant or whatever ring, gold serpent ring. And that would boost my item discovery. Mm -hmm. And the ghosts have a pretty decent chance of dropping more transient curses. That would be most helpful. You gotta prime the pump. Do I need to like use that yeah. first hand now? Yeah. Hello, miss. Did you lose your lover? Oh yeah, oh, two of them. Mm -hmm. Baby. Really boost that item discovery. I want to go up the stairs. Look like... She dodged. Well, she's too high up in the air. Oh goodness! Mm -hmm. Come on, backstep. Uh, I don't know that you can backstep them. That's too bad. Since they don't technically have a back. They're all back. Alrighty then. Oh goodness, this was not a good idea on my part. How about we just go ahead and do that? Do I need to hit that? Yeah, it won't work. Oh. All these strange contraptions.
Spiral staircases. Classic. Shame they went out of favor. I used to, uh, when I was younger, I would design houses for fun. Oh, that's a normal thing to do. Sure, why not? It's a creative thing to do. And, uh, usually always my houses would have a spiral staircase of some kind. Sweet. So your eventual house is going to have one, correct? If I ever happen to build my own, I probably will try and get one in there. Oh yeah, you're going to be making that mad English teacher money. I'm not going to be an English teacher. What? Thought you were going to be an English teacher. No. I decided I know. after a year of substitute teaching and, and doing uh, scout camp over the summer, teaching is not for me. Okay, what's the plan now? Do you have a plan? Well, I've been looking for, uh, for various writing type jobs, like technical writer, or editor kind of thing. Okay. Item find. Or even just organization type jobs. Pretty much anything that is not like a low-level minimum wage job and um, that a robot can do yeah <laughs> but also that uh, um, where I don't have to deal with people <laughs> yeah those are sweet jobs you can learn programming you can be a programmer That's yeah people do these days yeah, but it seems like any time I come across a job like that, it always says you need a, like, a degree. Yeah, you just lie. You just lie? You just say you have a degree. They're not going to check. I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they call up your university. Hey, does this guy have a degree in this? Yeah. Okay. But I don't have a degree in that. <laughs> yeah, and they don't actually call. Is the point. So I should lie? You want me to lie? <laughs> That's how business works. You gotta sell yourself. Which uh, programming language or languages should I learn? Java. Java? Or C sharp. They're the same. Oh, you need to redo your curse. You can't even block them unless you're cursed. Oh, okay. Let me just pull out one of my many transient curses. And it's a her. You said him again. You gotta fix that up if you want to be a writer. What? Like block him? Is that what I said? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they said M, as in <laughs> apostrophe E M, short for them. Yeah, well, that's colloquial, and it wouldn't be accepted in print. <laughs> Why is my ankle bleeding? Probably been scratching at it because you got a mosquito bite. That is very likely. I had like one mosquito in my room last week and I ended up with you know, six or so bites. This is a bad room. Yeah. It was bad room. Did you kick that ladder down? Nope. Yeah. Well, let's see, we went down. Mm -hmm. I was reading somewhere that a lot of the time your um, resume is run through a, a computer program to search for keywords like mm -hmm. team player mm -hmm. or uh, or what other kind of words? Synergy. Yeah. The big one you put in a resume. And, uh, and so I heard that a way around that is to put at the end of your resume in white text so it doesn't show up to human eyes all the keywords. Mm. <laughs> so, so you can trick the program into giving you a pass. But That's then I read further that apparently they have safeguards against that kind of thing. Yeah. Gotta use eggshell. Off white text. <laughs> so 
if you run out of transient curses, how do you do this place? Um, you'd have to run to a merchant who sells them. I know there's one in the middle of this place that sells them. I'm not sure if anybody else does. You can also go and get cursed. Go to the basilisks, let them curse you. But that's no fun because that halves your health. Oh yeah, that's terrible. <coughs> I've uh, I've yet to play any Dark Souls two, and I haven't quite figured out figured out all the differences. Um, I watched streamers play it, but it seems like uh, the more you die, the more your health gets like semi permanently uh, taken down. That's not good. So like the life you're at right now would be like your max health if you had died several times. Mm-hmm. And the way to reverse that is to is to like reverse your hollowing, which uses up a humanity. It's kind of a weird mechanic. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Do they bump into each other? No. That's not good. Little late on that one. <laughs> there was a pro shortcut on the stairs. <laughs> A slightly faster <laughs> round. <laughs> yeah, so that's what speedrunners do. Every little bit helps. I remember, I was watching uh, uh, awesome games done quickly. This ladder? You want me to kick this ladder? Yeah. Boom. I'll allow you to do a shortcut later. Uh, you don't need to go down that way. Okay. Um, awesome game, games done quickly, or ADG, ADGQ, mm -hmm. and uh, someone was speedrunning one of the Mega Man games, and he was doing some pretty amazing stuff, like there was a, some sort of arrow shot that you get, and you can ride it, yeah. and so he was able to like skip entire portions of a level by riding the arrow in certain places that you're not supposed to be able to, or something like that. Sounds like Mega Man 6. That might have been. <laughs> I remember being uh, super... Uh, so what you want to do is kind of go into this into this little room and then come back out. Uh huh. And then kind of go back up the stairs. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a gunner now. No, no, you have to go to that ladder that you kicked down. Ooh. Secrets. But uh, it was either Mega Man 5 or 6 that I had rented, and I discovered where you can uh, combine with your dog robot. Uh-huh. And I thought that was super cool. I also remember... When I got Mega Man 4 for Christmas or birthday or whatever it was. And the picture on the front has both Mega Man and Pharaoh Man. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh cool, it's a two player game. <laughs> 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 and then I was disappointed. Alright, they're gone forever. Yeah. So if you go like into the little room here and then and then back out and up the stairs, then uh like two of the ghosts from inside will eventually follow after you. Yay. And that way you won't be so overwhelmed. Eventually? You want me to stand here? You might have killed one of them already. 
If you go upstairs further. Yeah. Let's see. There's that ghost breath. Retrieved. So those ones from outside will probably follow you in here. So you can wait for them. Can they go through any walls? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, you're out of curse. That's not good. Quick, uh -oh. curse yourself. Uh-oh. <laughs> you might be in trouble. Oops, that time I ran out of curse. These guys. I've been eating gummy worms all week. Gummy worms? Mm hmm. Are they also from Haribo? Nope. No. The Brachs. Brachs. Are they German? That Brachs. sounds pretty German. They, do they have the same uh, consistency as these gummy bears? No, they're more like soft fruit snacks. Mm -hmm. Would you buy these? Um, just over at the dicks. Please, this is a family friendly show. <laughs> there is a, uh, they have the little uh, billboard at the elementary school. Mm hmm. And I guess at one point they had, uh, they had either like a fundraiser or a donation from dicks. The, the supermarket, mm -hmm. and it said, thanks, sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Founded in 1904 by Emile Brock. Oh. You know a lot of things. Originated in Chicago. Just like the deep dish pizza. <laughs> Wait, Chicago? That's not Germany. Nope. But it doesn't say where Emil Brock came from. Could be his ancestors came from Germany. An administrative building was blown up for a special effects scene in the Dark Knight Batman movie. also occasionally drop the those blades they wield and the uh, the blades uh, make it so that you don't need the curse to attack them that'd be sweet yeah but they're pretty weak blades you're doing a pinch pistol sidearm <laughs> expert at this mm -hmm. game. And uh, I was distracted so I couldn't tell you the shortcut. It's 
distracted telling me about Mega Man. Yeah, about Bronx. Mm. So basically, it's when you get to this area, you can roll off of there. Okay. And down to the area there. Interesting. So you don't have to go through that, the bridge area. Mm. That saved me a few frames. <laughs> Now you're thinking in speedrunning. Who attacked me here? I don't see anyone. They're below. Below me. I've been re-watching Psych, mm -hmm. and uh, there's one episode that I don't particularly like, and it's it's uh, the episode where they go looking for Bigfoot. Okay. I don't know if you've ever watched it. I don't recall it. Okay. So, it starts out basically that Sean has signed up with these Bigfoot hunters who are making like a student film about searching for Bigfoot and mm -hmm. he's also filming but his idea is to uh, basically make the making of film and uh... and then they get caught up with uh... with like Serbian hitmen or whatever in the area and it, it bothers me because it's sort of implied at the end of the episode that that uh, the version we're seeing, seeing is Sean's film mm -hmm. but it's not entirely clear and so I mean if it is like the truth then it's a little too over the top like they get ambushed by you know Serbian black ops and like everybody gets shot but everyone survives Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know, it just, it strikes me as a little too over the top, and then if it's like Sean's film, like we see them watching Sean's film, but we see that they have gunshot wounds, and it's like, okay, they, they did get shot, <laughs> you're out of curse. Okay. So it's like, there was gunfire, but you know, how did it all go down? Were they really assaulted by Serbian black ops? It seems like a little too much. It just doesn't sit right with me. Yeah, I should have written it better. I also didn't like the uh, this this series finale, which I haven't gotten to in this watch through yet. I mean, it's like Sean proposes to Juliet, but it's like really over the top and awkward. And not really funny or dramatic or anything. And Gus acts really awkward around a girl, more so than usual. And it just kind of falls flat. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors. Save the ghost. You have the Lord. Hand. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the sea. Yeah, I guard them. Yeah, go kill them. <laughs> They're asleep right now. <laughs> go kill them in their sleep. And open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark rays reside. In a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. 
So that's the clue. You're supposed to go get the ring. Some nice robes, by the way. <laughs> Looking pretty snazzy. Where do you shop? So I gotta get a ring, you say? Well, you already got it from Sif the Wolf. Alright. Well, that was fast. I think the wolf was wearing the ring. It's a giant ring. Could be. Giant toe ring. <laughs> I wear it as a. He was pierced in his belt. nose. Mm. I can't go down that way. Okay, well, I will go the way I can go. Which is back? Which is, uh. Yeah. Where do you suggest? So you have to. Work your way through the building and get down to the stairs. This building here? Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's fairly simple. For you. <laughs> sense any winding here. Ooh, a thing. <laughs> Shiny. You want to go up that way? You're almost out of these. Yep. Lasted a good long time. A couple weeks. Mm. So I'll go up first. You gonna replace them with a different candy? I don't know. Maybe, I kinda like these. Maybe get some jelly beans. No, I don't like jelly beans. Do you like regular beans? Yes. Oh. That's I also strange. like fried beans. But not refried beans. I've never heard of fried beans. <laughs> You've heard that Mitch Hedberg joke? Where he's like, um, what's the deal with like refried beans? Um, maybe fried beans are just as good and we're just wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them. Mm -hmm. So you probably need to go back into the building through the window. Yeah. Any window. down here. What's that? I'm gonna get this. Okay. Ooh. Green. Shrek approved. <laughs> 